Good morning, everyone. I'm Naresh Kanatra, a solution architect in the team that Steve likes to call the data group, especially the advanced analytics group. Everyone who was here yesterday, at some point or the other, was talking of us, talking to our customers over the phone. Yes. Looks like it's a primary means of communication for us. That is true. On a daily basis, we interact with our customers, both inbound and outbound calls, totaling to around eight to 9,000 hours a day. Of these, 4,500 hours of calls are recorded for training and quality purposes. A quality assurance team then manually listens to some of these calls, totaling to around 25 hours. They're doing a great job out of the 25 hours that they are doing QA on, but you do the math, 25 out of 4,500 hours, the results would be obvious. Now, we have a group within our team which does research and innovation, tries to bring all the latest technologies together and bring out pilot projects that to show what can be done with these latest technologies. A few months back, Sundar came to us and said, guys, we need to do something. We told them, hey, no brainer, let's just hire a 1,000 or 2,000 folks. They listen to the calls. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't think of it, but anyways, or he said, or Naresh, how about we use artificial intelligence? Yes, folks, that, that was a good vision. We thought, you know, artificial intelligence is the way to go. You know, you, namely speech to text conversion, natural language processing, and machine learning. Very good quality assurance from 25 hours to 4,500 hours. And does it say future state? Folks, the future is now. We have more than these slides. As of the minute while I speak, we have 1,000 plus hours of data that is being crunched in a pilot platform with state-of-the-art visualizations. It helps us study, you know, what are the kind of calls we are getting? What is the sentiment of these calls? Happy, unhappy, or neutral calls? Are the calls repeat calls? Are the customers calling us again for a reason? This will help us study into what the repeat, what's generating repeat calls. Any particular categorization that we want to do, we have showed an example by doing categorization on billing calls. Down there, you see a trending chart. Any particular day you can see, you know, if a, chart, a particular category is jumping up, we need to look into that and find out what's happening. You can drill into any particular category and see the actual text of the calls. You can read through the transcripts. You can see what features of the calls makes a call stand out in a particular category. You can do search. You can see policy number of the calls, again, transcribed from the voice where the customer gives out the policy number. You can link the policy number back to the PAS system. You can see the agent, the time, duration of the call. You can search for whatever you want. And come on, it's gonna be a million calls a few days down the lane. I'm sorry, it cannot be fast. The search cannot be fast. No, it's gonna be blazing fast. We have greatest technology on top of our big data. Don't worry. Don't worry. If you don't know what to search for, or if you're thirsty, the clouds are out there, El Nino's here. We are also giving you a cloud. We'll tell you the data that's being discussed in the phone calls, and you can drill down in there and go to see what's being talked about. You can drill down into any particular topic, and you, this is of, you know, we'll tell you what's happening in these topics. In short, guys, we could even send, we could even have our recommendation engine using machine learning algorithms, send emails to supervisors with recommendations on phone calls. What was done, what could be done better. To sum it up, I think we have the platform ready to take our customer experience to the next level. And a very big thanks to Steve-O for supporting us, Bob Wee's team for providing us the data, uh, Mark Jacobson and all the EADS leaders for providing us the leadership and cultivating innovation in our group. And very big thanks to the man who came up with the idea, Sundar Gokulnathan. Thank you very much, folks.